fatter. Coming? Come on. Come on. Okay, we're back at the garden today. We're going to be planting this eggplant that I got. Got. I brought these tomatoes from the house. They're about ready to pop. And when I was home, I planted some of these and they just did really well. So I'm going to try that. some garlic out from the house. I'm going to try planting some of that right here. And I brought the shallot from inside the house. I'm going to go ahead and plant that. So we have a tomato plant in here, which you saw in the other video, and it looked like somebody from that was in the gardening came out here and now it's gone, it got broken. Same thing happened a week later to the eggplant. This is all that's left. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. I don't think it'll continue growing at that point. So I'm just going to keep the dirt. And we're going to plant a tomato here, since we don't have eggplant. Those baby tomatoes. We're going to put one where the tomato plant was. They're very young. Hopefully they'll be okay. Meanwhile, I came out here and discovered this sage plant in a pot. So I removed most of its bigger leaves and some of the branches to see if we can revive this guy. And it looks like we've got a nice set of baby leaves coming up. And then here's the shallot that we planted. It's growing well. And there's the garlic, all this garlic, and then another thing that I discovered was a little pot that had some chives in it. So I went ahead and repot, replanted those over here, and we're hoping those are going to grow. And then the basil, we got to get the basil out here. But so far, our tomato plant has got some nice blossoms. And it's coming right along. I think I'm going to have to go buy it a cage. Just to kind of give you an idea of what I've started over here, we've got forget-me-nots and basil. Then I'm propagating some, getting these, these are just kitchen seeds that I'm working on getting going. And then here we have a couple of, this is a forget-me-not and this is the basil coming up. So those are just about ready to be planted one of these up in the garden when I was outside. Just gonna stick it right behind my ear. How's that? Okay, I wanted to show you what I did with the rosemary plant. You probably saw it in the previous video, included in this video where um, it was growing in the garden. And after having lost the eggplant and the tomato plant due to some kind of mishap with the gardeners, 
I was concerned that this one wasn't going to last. The other reason was because in my garden at home, the rosemary that was planted has just taken over and kind of took on the whole garden. So they have a tendency to really grow big. And this one being still a baby and not in the woody stage, it's just got a nice center going. So I thought, how fun would it be to make a topiary? And my daughter had this cool pot, which has already got the moss growing on it. I thought, oh, that's so French. So I potted it in here and I just basically just trimmed off all these extra little, I, and I, where I did this, I didn't put it in the pot. I had, I, I actually trimmed most of this off right there as it was growing in the garden. I'm losing my little hair thing. And this is easy for you to do if you have a rosemary and you don't want it to take over your whole garden, then I would suggest just trim it up. This one, it'll kind of um, indicate. And you can bring it indoors, have it in your windowsill. I see so many uh, bloggers with rosemary in their windowsills and it's just very pretty. But you can see how this one has kind of started to take on some of that round shape. And now it just needs to grow a little more and we'll keep trimming it. And um, we'll have like a little French garden inside the house. Meanwhile, we've got all this area down below here. And I've read that you can put little gravel, or I've heard people say they can put, they put gravel or moss in this part down here. But I thought, why not plant these forget-me-nots in here? And since we're going to be watering it indoors, then it'll give these little cotidols a chance to take off in this pot. And who doesn't love a pot where you've combined a couple of different plants together? Now, I haven't looked up to see if rosemary and forget-me-nots get along, but um, we're gonna give it a try. So that's what I'm gonna do now, and I've made a stake here out of popsicle sticks. This is how I've made the stakes. I use permanent marker to make the name, and then I just cut the tip with the scissors. So I'm just gonna make a hole here for my first one and get it in there. I have a feeling this is going to work out great. And I think that the, um, the rosemary just may like a little companion plant in there. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing right at the edge of the table. And we're going to be planting these little baby forget-me-nots. So these have been germinating in the egg carton. And I love these egg cartons. They're plastic. You can see it. They're plastic and they make great little greenhouses. Now, we don't know if all these will survive, but we're hoping for the best. So these plastic egg cartons, I love to use these to get seeds started. And once you get the seed in there, you can cover it like this, and it creates kind of a, de uh, a greenhouse effect. So we're just planting the forget-me-nots. We're on this side. This side, I have basil. So we're just going to go along here and put one around, all the way around. And some of these have more than one growing, which we'll probably have to thin that out later on. Just want you to see it, maybe. Okay. 
can't say yet if it's going to work, but we're always hopeful. I'm going to put one more over here. My daughter's coming home today from the airport, so I'm going to be picking her up. And I'll just go ahead and put this steak on this side. So now we know that we have rosemary and forget-me-nots. Put a little bit more of this soft, moist dirt. That they were first, oh, there's another one. They were first germinated in there, so I'm gonna put that one in there too. So it's spring and today we're planting babies. Planting some baby seeds, baby plants. Now, it wouldn't hurt to still put a little bit of moss or something around here, which I don't have, but we'll see how that works out. I'm just going to take from this pot and continue just getting a little bit more of this good potting soil around our plants to give them a little boost. Just going to gently press around it. With my fingers. Good thing I put newspaper down. And I'm gonna be pressing this in the microwave very shortly, but isn't it beautiful? So I just wanna show you what I did. I just planted those forget-me-nots around the bottom of our pot. And so we've got a rosemary topiary started here in this gorgeous little moss-covered pot. And I'm gonna surprise my daughter when she gets home. She um, should be okay with it. It's not the same as when I gave my, do my, my sister's doll a haircut the day after Christmas, gave it a pixie cut, and did not, well, was like probably three or four years old, but she wasn't appreciative of that, and I might have been a little older, but I was giving haircuts at that age, <laughs> and um, that hair didn't grow back, but I trim this, if my daughter ends up not liking it, she can let it grow back. It's a healthy plant, but I think she's going to just love it. And when I go home, I think, well, my, my rosemary plant has gotten a little more woody than this. This is a younger plant, so it's got a nice straight uh, stalk here. Mine is very big, and I recently trimmed it back, and it was very hard to cut because the the, the, the branches were thick. So I'm, when I get home, I'm going to see if I can do this to my plants at home, to my rosemary bush at least. And I may even try starting a couple of lavender plants because I love the topiaries and I think they'd look very pretty sitting in my home, on the counter, in the kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit long, but please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more like this and leave a comment below.